Broadway quality live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. There's some con men who have um, a piece of merchandise that they need to get their hands on and it's through circumstance become uh, planted in the home of a blind woman and her photographer husband. So the majority of the play is them figuring out a way of retrieving it, uh, first through a con and then through less subtle ways. Don't you think it suits him fine, Sergeant Carlino? Sergeant who? And you? will be Sergeant Carlino. Hey, who the hell are you? I am Harry Roach, Jr. and Sr. from Scarsdale. He's a guy who um, is constantly putting on an act, playing a role within the play. Um, so even the two con men that he uses as his accomplices don't really know who he is, don't really know who the real uh, man is behind the name and the wig and uh, the sunglasses. So you see, it's all finished now. You can relax now, Susie. It's all over. I have the knife! We're stumbling around a lot in the dark. Wait until dark's the name of the play, so that's not giving anything away. The audience is waiting for that moment. Probably the biggest challenge is making sure that we stay safe and within that, finding um, ways of keeping it thrilling and exciting for both ourselves as actors and for the audience, certainly, too. The big important thing for me was, uh, were two things. Um, what it, what it must be like to lose your sight, because she lost her sight, she wasn't born blind, and then um, how to focus on everything else in the play instead of on the blindness. So see the blindness as a um, an obstacle to overcome, but not uh, all she is. It was incredibly challenging to be on stage and not be looking at anything. Oh, yes, this is 27B, Grogan Street. Uh, please, tell as fast as you can, uh, hurry. Now, that was just stupid, wasn't it? The key, please. You said I could have well, it. I'm taking it very carefully, so I'm not going to support I'm not going to search for it. I'm kind of the, um, maybe the, the character that, that the audience can relate to because I sort of learn what's happening at the same time as they do. I'm holding out for you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, you cheat! I was there! You've got this one take of what this person is, but to you know, not just let it be that single line, but kind of like, you know, create a higher dynamic or more more to him, you know, and kind of fully realize the relationship between him and his wife. This is like the normal world and, uh, you know, happy world before things kind of go off kilter and start to spin and the thriller takes place. Oh, some bags for the vacuum cleaner, eh? Well, maybe I can help you find it. Oh, no, you needn't bother. Oh, no, 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 it's no bother. Well, you know, only last week, my wife lost her only can opener. You'll never guess where I found it. In the washing machine. There's a villain, there's a heroine, um, and Carlino, uh, I think, sort of walks the fine line. I think he's obviously set up to be sort of the comic relief of the play, but at the same time, he's a little menacing. Now, how many apartments did you say were in this house? Mrs. Hendricks? Oh, uh, just two, this one and the one upstairs. He's very concerned about his fingerprints being all over this apartment. Because the target is blind, he feels free to try to surreptitiously wipe his fingerprints off of various things that he might have touched, much to the frustration of his partner. I'm so very sorry this happened, Mrs. Hendricks. I do hope my father wasn't rude in any way. Well, now, he emptied all the drawers in the bedroom. Was that rude to you? Oh, my goodness. We basically put her in, her in a circumstance where she needs someone to hang on to, and I just happened to be there. So I promised to basically take care of her. Now, wait a minute. Uh, no, you can't go. Oh, uh, of course I can. I've been going by myself for weeks. I'll get it much quicker. Well, but it's locked if anyone sees you try to 
I love um, the suspense. Like, is she going to find it? Is she going to get it to us? What's going to happen next? I mean, there's always there's this like build up of all this information that totally pays off the end, I think. <laughs>